Michelle, I hope you like this place. A friend of mine told me about it, and I thought it would be perfect for you. It's very nice. I think there's something wrong with this menu. There's a page missing. Where are the steaks, the chops? Daddy, this is a, a vegetarian restaurant. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Don't worry, Victor. You'll find something you like. Here, try the uh, fake and double peas burger. <laughs> Mom, it's so great having you here. Hey, you know what I was thinking about the other day? Big Red. Oh my God, I haven't thought about that in years. What's Big Red? When I was nine, there was this giant red maple tree some developers were trying to cut down. So my mom hoisted me up into the branches and chained herself to the trunk. Yep. And together, Matt and I saved a tree that had been there since the Revolutionary War. In hindsight, I'm very proud of what we did. Back then, I just thought it was cool to be in a tree and pee into a soda can. Wait, 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 wait. You can aim into a soda can, but I had to throw out this month's Red Book because I left it a foot from the toilet? <laughs> so, Mom, uh, after we leave here, I'd love to take you to see my cooking school. Oh, honey, I can't. I'm meeting a friend at Columbia. Well, okay, maybe after that, I, I really want to show you what I'm doing. Okay, sweetie, I'll be there. So, Victor, what's going on with you? Still trying to figure out what the hell beet loaf is. I mean, at work. Oh, well, since you ask, Rochelle, I'm expanding the pellet empire with my latest investment, Armok's first eight-minute lube. Really? I just read an environmental study on the quick-change lube shops. You know, let, let's not get into a debate over lube shops. Yeah, Mom, tell them about the time you saved that baby whale by giving it mouth to blowhole. <laughs> I don't have any problem with lube shops. Each year, people who do their own oil changes dump millions of gallons of used oil and contaminate the groundwater. Most lube facilities recycle the oil. You see? There you go. I'm an environmental guy. We got a great location, too, right on the Mill River. Hell of a view. Right on the river? What's the environmental impact? Well, the sign alone is going to have a huge impact. <laughs> it's a 14-foot neon oil can with lights that look like giant drips. Oh, it's a very classy thing. Well, did they get a variance to build on the land? I don't know. All I know is I'm getting 20% return on my money and free lubes for the rest of my life in eight minutes. <laughs> Why don't you tell her about the extra Christmas? <laughs> Victor, I'm surprised you put your money into something without doing any research. Well, I'm surprised that you would consider it your business. Hey, look! They have tofurkey. <laughs>